Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SCV News Break for Monday, February 16th. Two people are dead following what investigators are calling a murder-suicide in Stevenson Ranch. The shooting happened around 8.40 Sunday night in a shopping center near Pico Canyon and the Old Road. Homicide investigators arrived on scene just after midnight where a 56-year-old Hispanic man reportedly shot and killed his 51-year-old wife before turning the gun on himself. Both victims were pronounced dead here at the scene. A weapon was also recovered, and that's all we have at this time. The victims' identities have not yet been released. The circumstances leading up to the shooting are still under investigation. We'd like to say a prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Friends and family of a Canyon Country man who was shot and killed in his home one week ago gathered Sunday afternoon for a prayer vigil. 28-year-old Johnny Greenback was shot and killed last Sunday, allegedly by his sister. 25-year-old Jessica Greenback was arraigned Tuesday on five charges, including one count of murder and two counts of attempted murder. Friends of their father are continuing their efforts to raise funds for the family. There's a Wells Fargo site, a Johnny Greenback fund. Go to any Wells Fargo bank to, to help. I'd just like to encourage everyone to think about it. And if you can afford it, donate a little. If you can afford it more, donate a lot. He has two children that are depending on him now. And uh, he has a you know, little girl and a young man to raise. And he needs the help. So we want to help him. The weather on Saturday morning could not have been more perfect for a run or a skip. Oscar Rogel checked out the colorful event that brought thousands out to Castaic Lake on Valentine's Day. So this is the second annual Santa Colorita 5K Fun Run, and it's a celebration of health and family and fitness and color. And today we're out here supporting three organizations, uh, the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce, Jack's Angels Foundation. Skip for Jack was this idea, <laughs> and now it's become a reality. Uh, my son Jack wanted to skip so much, and it was really, really hard for him. DIPG is a pediatric brainstem tumor with no survivors, with no progress in over 35 years. And we also did a wheelchair for Gabriella. Gabriella uh, is a student at Albert Einstein Academy and we purchased a specialized racing wheelchair for her so she could participate in her school's cross country races. This is a very worthy event. Let's enjoy, let's get out and skip, let's run, let's get colorful. So as you can tell by my appearance, there is a colorful surprise for the participants. Well, we came all the way from Riverside County, Hemet, California, and uh, we heard about this through our, our my employer, one of the biggest sponsors. It, it's our first time, but we're going to be doing this every year from now on. My favorite part was seeing all the people having fun, all the little kids, and of course, just letting loose and getting color splash all over us, and, you know, forgetting our worries for a day. It's our mission and vision to give back to our community and support our community and support our businesses. And this event supports all of those things. For more information about this event and to learn how to donate to these charitable causes, visit SantaColorita.com. Reporting from Castaic Lake, I am a colorful Oscar Rogel for SCV TV. They're known as some of the best pickers in Los Angeles. The high-energy bluegrass quartet Hot October is slated for an intimate show in Old Town Newhall Thursday night. The Cal Arts alumni take the stage at the Repertory East Playhouse at 8 p.m. as part of the Out West Concert Series presented by SCV TV. Tickets are $20. Doors open at 7 o'clock. In sports, the CIF Southern Section released the playoff brackets for high school basketball and soccer with several Santa Clarita teams included. First in boys basketball, Valencia will host Quartz Hill, Hart will host Torrance, and West Ranch travels to Summit of Fontana. Those games will be Friday at 7 o'clock. Trinity hosts Whitney at 7 p.m. Wednesday at the Masters College. Santa Clarita Christian will host Villanova Prep, and Vasquez will travel to Windward Wednesday. In girls basketball, Footer League champion Valencia will host Long Beach Jordan, Hart hosts Moore Park, Canyon travels to the Antelope Valley to take on Eastside, Golden Valley goes to Riverside to play Patriot, and Saugus will travel to Tesoro. 
All of those games will be played Saturday at 7 p.m. In boys soccer, Hart will be the number one seed in Division Four and will host the winner of the Santa Monica Santa Paula wildcard game. Saugus is on the road to take on Kate of Carpinteria, and Valencia travels to El Segundo. All of those games will be Friday at 3 p.m. In girls soccer, back-to-back -back league champion Hart will host Ukaipa. West Ranch is at home against Westlake. Canyon travels to Redlands. Vasquez is on the road to Montebello to play Sure, and Santa Clarita Christian goes to Anaheim to play Catella. All of the girls soccer games will be played Thursday at 3 p.m. Turning to weather, it's not here yet, but it sure feels like spring outside. Daytime highs topped out at 79 degrees in Santa Clarita to start out the work week. We should see much of the same all week long. Sunny skies and highs around 78 and 79 degrees are in the forecast through Thursday with slightly cooler temperatures and mostly sunny skies expected on Friday. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.